car crash accidents happen every single day. But luckily, we have the technology to help prevent serious injuries. Take, for example, When a car crash happens, the car decelerates rapidly. When the car decelerates, the objects inside the car want to keep moving, something called inertia. Now, for people driving cars, this is obviously very bad. Because if a person stays in motion after a car is stationary, they could smash their head on the dashboard, or worse, fly through the windshield. And we don't want that. That's why they invented the airbag. When the seatbelt isn't enough to stop the passenger from smashing their head onto the dashboard, an airbag is deployed. This cushiony object is used to cradle the person's head or chest as it slows down. The impulse is the force that changes an object's momentum. Force over time, F over T. A big F over a small T is a big impact. A small F over a big T is a small impact. The airbag helps reduce a big impact into a smaller impact. However, there are some downsides and unpredictabilities about airbags. For example, if the passenger is too close to the airbag, the resulting push of the airbag might snap their neck, an injury that could be worse than the actual crash itself. And what about the dangers of being too short for the airbag to be effective? Well, let's debunk all of these problems one by one. You see, the airbag doesn't know where the driver is, and it doesn't know how big the driver is. It's trying its best, and its best right now is to deploy its full size whenever a crash is detected. Or is it? Meet the smart airbag. While a normal airbag normally has three components, the crash sensor, the inflator, and the actual airbag, the smart airbag can have up to five components, including a weight sensor embedded in the driver's seat and an ultrasound scanner continuously scanning the driver's seat for the position of the driver. The normal airbag works like this. A crash sensor detects a massive drop in acceleration and sends a signal to the inflator, which in turn inflates the airbag. That means 100% of airbag for 100% of crashes. This is not the case in smart airbags. For example, let's take a person who weighs 65 kilograms and a person who weighs 45 kilograms, the 65 kilogram person being the taller one. When they both crash, they're both gonna get the same result, 100% of airbag, which is bad news for the 45 kilogram person because they're too short for the airbag to be effective, meaning that they suffer a massive head trauma. But a smart airbag can easily detect how much the 45 kilogram person weighs and reduce the amount of airbag that is deployed when it crashes. Now let's return to this dummy. Why does position matter anyway? Well, because in this case, he doesn't need an airbag. The steering wheel acts as his airbag. A normal airbag system would have deployed his airbag anyway. But the smart airbag system analyzes the driver's position and knows that the steering wheel will already act as an airbag, and so does not deploy. Of course, no system is without its flaws, and the smart airbag's main glaring flaw is technological issues. Pretty re severe reports are a thing of the past now, though, and incidents involving smart airbags are becoming rarer and rarer. In conclusion, the smart airbag system still needs to iron some flaws out, but other than that, is the perfect security measure for drivers of all shapes and sizes.